mighty prophet of the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord, Pastor Joanne. Amen. Please, my Lord, the prophet. Now, Pastor Joanne, the Lord has spoken with me this past night. Again, this past night, the Lord had a very, very stern conversation with me. And in that conversation, the Lord spoke with me about the great distress that is coming to consume the nations of the earth. We see very well what is happening in Pakistan. The prophecy I gave of the earthquake that will come to Pakistan we see the enormity and the seriousness of the words of my tongue. Even an island, the Lord created a new island when that earthquake came to pass. And this past night, the Lord advanced the conversation. And I'm going to describe the full detail of this conversation. In that dream, this past night, at about 3 to 4 a.m. in the morning, I was in a house with a group of people. And then a lot of insects, small insects, came. They came to the room in which I was, black insects. A lot of small insects that are black. And at first, I thought because they have flappy wings, they may not be dangerous, so they may not sting. But for a lot of them, small little black insects that came and befell the room. And I realized that this is getting very serious, so I needed to run away. And I saw the people in the room also getting up and running away. And as I ran away trying to get out of the room, I realized I had to go through other rooms to get out. And when I entered the next room on my way out with the rest of the people, I found there that these small insects, the black ones, that had jammed, that covered the room, I don't know how many trillions of them, or billions of them. In the next room, I found that they were still there, they had covered that room too, except that some of them had grown bigger, and I thought they were like black butterflies at that point. And a lot of them fell on me, the black ones also, the, the big ones also with fluffy, with fluffy wings, and many, many millions of smaller ones. And then, as I entered the third room on my way to the exit door, I found the same. And as I stepped out, I realized a lot of them had actually clung on me. I tried to wipe them out, as everybody did. And then, I realized that most of them were sticking, they were sticky, they refused to be wiped out. They had stuck in the hands, on the, all over the body, and they began to sting me. So everybody around me was being stung by these black, small black insects, and they were refusing, as, as they stung, they created wounds and so much pain. They stung people all over, and there was tremendous outcry as I had reached outside. And then I realized, all of a sudden, that even the hens, the chickens that were out there, they had those insects full over them, stinging them. I remember around the rooster of the cock, and I was trying to help the chicken also to clean them as other people tried to help the chicken and the animals too. Because the black insects had covered the animals and the chicken, we were trying to clean them up because they were being stung in a terrible way. They were crying. All animals were crying. And 
happened, this house was in Kenya. Now the Bible says very clearly in the book of Acts chapter 17 verse 30 that the Lord says, He says that in the past I overlooked such ignorance but now I command all people everywhere to repent. And when you advance into verse 31, you see the very reason, the reason for that repentance, for that call to repentance, that is in verse 30. In verse 31, he says, Because he has appointed a special day for the man of authority, for the man of the spirit, for the man whom he has appointed to judge the nations, he has appointed that day already when the Messiah comes and does that. And we know it too well that the day of the coming of the Messiah is the day when the sheep and the goat nations will be separated. The sheep and the goat Christians will be separated. And he will tell to the sheep, Come this way, my good and faithful one. And they will enter with him into the safety and the blessedness of the glorious kingdom of Jehovah in heaven. This house in which I was being stung by black insects was Kenya in this past night, in this dream. I know that when I was in Vienna, I gave the prophecy that there is a black day coming. And in that dream I saw tanks, I saw water, I saw everything that we finally saw unfold at the Westgate Mall. In fact, at that time I could not even believe that that would happen because these were soldiers I was seeing. And I did not piece together any scenario that would call for soldiers in the streets. I could not understand. I thought it was going to go in Somalia or in Nigeria, Uganda, whatever. But the Lord made me know it was coming here. Though I could not in my little mind comprehend how that would happen. And to see it unfolding in Kenya was a shock. However, what is most important is the message that was anchored on that prophecy. It's the message of repentance and the turning away from sin. If you look very carefully at the message that is the undercurrent, the underpinning of the prophecy that brought the, brought the earthquake to Pakistan that happened yesterday, the day before yesterday, the historic earthquake that moved the earth and created a new island, Again, in that very prophecy, the undertone says, and when all these things happen, then you shall know that the Messiah is coming. And that you need to prepare the way in Pakistan then, for that particular prophecy. And that you may prepare the way globally, all the nations, in that particular Pakistan prophecy. Here too now, the Lord is speaking about repentance. The Lord is calling the nations repentance. Repentance is always good. Only the Lord protects nations. Kenya has been protected by the Lord and nobody else. So, Kenya needs to go back to that place where only Jehovah protects her. The Bible says, if the Lord not protect the city, the watchmen, the soldiers, they walk, they travail in vain. If the Lord not protect the nation, everything travails in vain. I see the black insects eating the chicken, the animals. I don't know whether that means there is going to be famine. I don't know whether that means animals are going to be affected, but the Lord, He has spoken. I saw the animals, black insects on them, and I was struggling in the dream to clean up the insects because the animals were weeping, they were crying, they were yelling, they were in pain, they were being stung. As were the people. I think the message of the Lord on repentance, on let us return, is absolutely very clear. This is the most beloved nation 
as far as the end time revival is concerned. And only the Lord heals his people. Only the Lord heals the land. And if my people who are known by my name, meaning who bear the banner of the Lord, the banner of the Messiah, the banner of the Christ, my covenant people, if they will humble and repent, that is the caveat, and repent, humble and repent, I always told them, I will heal their land and heal them too. Hasn't the Lord spoken with you? Shalom. <laughs>